Hi everyone, this is Dr. Omar. In this video clip, I will show you how to do post hoc test uh, after doing Friedman ANOVA test in SPSS. Here I have, I have a data from a, a, a company that has introduced a drug that wanted to test the effect of the drug on an individual's uh, you are in uh, in a period of time from two weeks to four weeks and to follow that by looking at the body weight of an individual so a drug designed to uh, supposedly reduce the body weight so in this study we have 10 cases 10 participants and every one of them participated in all the measurements at the zero point or at the beginning of the uh, test or a trial of uh, this drug the weight for all the individual has been measured and taken and then after taking the drug for two weeks their body weight were, was, were remeasured again and after four weeks the body weight was uh, weights for all of them were determined these data as we can see the sample size is too small 10 samples and these each individual participated in all the other measurements so they are related the variable here is are related and these data in each group is not uh, normally distributed so thus if we want to find if there is a significant difference between um, taking a drug for two weeks or four weeks on the body weight the best way to do it is to do Friedman ANOVA test and to do that we click on analyze scroll down to non-parametric test then scroll again to legacy dialogue and then scroll to the K related samples here another windows appear we need to select the um, control weeks two and weeks four weeks four and transfer them into the test variable to test for several related samples and as we can see here we keep this Fred man on click uh, icon clicked on if we click on exact will for a window will come pop up uh, we'll just leave it as it is and click on continue statistics I will uh, pick up and click on descriptive and then I will click and continue and then hit the button for ok space is generate an output showing you that there are 10 cases and three groups and uh, SPSS Fred Mananova took the, uh, took the data for each group actual data and rank them and then give you give the mean rank for each group again uh, these data show that there is a significant differences between all the three groups but again it's an overall significant but doesn't specify what is if there is a significant between control and week two or control and weeks four and the way to do that is as i said in a previous uh, video you can do it through wilcoxon signed rank test or post hoc here i will show you how to do post hoc test so again we click on analyze we uh, scroll down to non-parametric and then scroll down again to click on that related uh, test which is called related samples if you double click on that a window will come up it's asking you what is your objective i say click on i just want to customize the analysis then go and click choose the field again these are the three uh, fields that i want to choose and i want to test so i will transfer them to the right box and then I also click on the setting and in this setting in this window I will also select customize test I will scroll down here and click on Friedman ANOVA by ranks okay samples and all giving you out all by pairwise pairwise and then click on run a box will appear showing that there is a significant difference between the three samples and it's really uh, put in hypothesis and it says that there are significant less than 0.05 if you double click on this table get another 
window here next to it showing uh, the control the week two and week three if we scroll down uh, to uh, to here and uh, click on pairwise comparison another table will uh, appear and this table really is showing the comparison between control and week two control and week four con week two and week four again uh, these uh, as we can see here uh, with this post hoc test it shows that there is no significant difference between control and week two however because the p-value is equal to one however there is a significant uh, difference between control and week four so um, and there is also some significant difference uh, between also significant difference between week two and week four as the p-value is less than 0.01